When I was a kid, I grew up in the Roman Catholic Church. We went to church as a family every Sunday. And uh, being a kid of the baby boomer generation, uh, our particular parish, which was, I went to St. Sebastian's out in the North Hills, and it was quite a drive from our house, <clears throat> excuse me, and there was such enormous growth during that time that they established a new parish and put it out in, I guess that's Wexford, where St. Alexis is. I think it's probably still there. I don't know. They're changing all these. It is. Okay. So um, our, our parish became St. Alexis. Well, they divided up the parish, but St. Alexis didn't have a place to uh, celebrate Mass and, you know, to do all the things that we did as Catholics in that time. So, at that time, if you're familiar with the North Hills, right out there where Route 19 and McKnight Road kind of join to the north and head north, there used to be a roller skating rink. And, you know, I, I was a young kid. I didn't know what all the ins and outs of it were, but we ended up having church in the roller skating rink uh, right out there on the rink itself on Sunday mornings. And my mom and dad used to laugh on the way to church every time and talk about, <laughs> I guess now we're holy rollers. <laughs> I had no clue what they were talking about. I'm like, that's really a stupid joke, but you know, it's mom and dad, you know, All right. Well, later in life, I came to understand and learning about the, the history of, of the church and different movements in the church, and especially in the, uh, in the 19th, 20th, and, and beginning of the 21st century here, what the term holy roller uh, was referring to in people who are caught up into the, into the Pentecostalism or charismatic movement to the point in believing and practicing things where they would you know, fall down and roll around uh, on the floor in a service and that was somehow pleasing to God and, and glorifying to him. And there were jokes about the holy, oh, you're a holy roller, you know. So I got the joke like 35 years after my dad <laughs> said it. But that was my mom and dad's perception of that whole thing. They were so far removed in it, from it, but their perception about these things about, oh yeah, like speaking in tongues and prophecy and healing and all that stuff, that's what those holy rollers do. We don't want any part of that. I won't speak ill of them, but that's what they understood about it. There are some who have been brought up within an evangelical church or within a, a Pentecostal or, or charismatic church, and that's their church experience. And they look at a liturgical church, like the Roman Catholic Church or the Greek Orthodox, or to a large extent the, the Lutheran Church or the Episcopal Church. And they look at it and they go, what, they just go in and they mumble a bunch of stuff and they sit up, sit, stand, well, do all this stuff and they never get to the good stuff. As a, as a Roman Catholic growing up, the, we had an option on Sunday morning which priest's mass to go to and we aimed for the one with the shortest homily. Five minutes. Yeah. And you're all going, boy, I wish I was a Catholic right now. Yeah, the, the, the long homily from, from the other father was like 15 minutes, and everybody could hardly wait to get out of there. But it's a different mode of worship. Now, we can have long conversations some other time, I don't want to now, in issues that have arisen over the centuries and facing right now the latest news of this uh, uh, archbishop being defrocked I mean, that's huge. If you understand that from the Roman Catholic Church, we're brought up in that tradition, it's huge. And it should be huge, considering what's been going on. And we could talk about that, but that's independent of the question of how should one worship God? Should it be liturgically? Should it be evangelically? Should it be Pentecostally? Paul said it right here. There's varieties of activities. There's varieties of ministries. The key is, is it born of the Holy Spirit? 
Is it spirit-inspired worship? 